What's up guys, we're here at Cannonball Garage to start the day. As you guys asked in our track day video, um, a lot of the cars got damaged and need repair. So we're doing a whole video today on the, the cost of the damage that the track day caused to the cars. Uh, La Ferrari's here for some work. We'll go check that out right now and then uh, we'll stop by Porsche at the 19. The wire is down. What else? The, the Every car has a check engine light, pretty much. Everything's broken. So we're gonna go over the cars today, try to get a rough tally of how much a track day actually costs Steve. And, uh, it's gonna be a very costly day, so let us begin. We'll jump right into it. <laughs> this one didn't break the track because it didn't make it to the track. I saw it like up on the lift, but seeing it like eye level. Varus wide body kit? Varus wide body kit. I mean, with T37s? My, my hands are tied. I think a Varus wide body would be fun. Car we got for TikTok, anyways. So you might as well just like go full out, like underglow, wrap it, the whole nine yards. Throwback to why we got this car. On TikTok, we asked everyone what car do you want to join the collection? You guys wanted a GTR. So, and then we didn't know what we wanted to do with this. So we said, everyone, make a comment. Top like comment uh, is what we're gonna do to this car. And you guys chose 2000 horsepower. towards progress um, and on that note no wheels but we do have wheels on order shout out to uh, Fibon Industries very very excited they're gonna be very stancy boy go to Fibon Industries SD wheel custom offsets for all of your truck and car needs in all of its glory Steve's least favorite car Cannonball is gonna do a great job getting this done as soon as they can and let's go meet with Tommy and see what is up with the LaFerrari Best sounding cars in the collection. Hands down. Seriously. 100%. So good. I love it. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is Steve's 2015 Ferrari LaFerrari. Um, he drives all of his cars super hard, especially on the track. So we just did a quick post track day inspection on this. Uh, fluids, tires, brakes, um, all that good stuff. The car looks fine. Uh, that came out to around 3400 bucks. Sounds expensive. It's really not that bad. We have another hypercar we're checking out later in the video. That's more than $50,000 in repairs, so you'll see that in a little bit. I think next up we're gonna check out the Urus. We need new calipers in that bad boy. Not new calipers, but there's an issue with the calipers, you'll see. Also, for those of you who don't know, you can get your last name or whatever on the steering wheel on the long Ferrari. I'm gonna cover the previous owner's last name out of respect, but this fell off a couple days ago, so I'll <laughs> count this as a track day expense. Uh, we were gonna replace it anyways with like Lord Steve or Hamilton or THC or something, so really not that big of a deal, but it's another thousand dollars that we can add to the bill, so add it right there. This car sounds so good. Wait, listen to this. Oh my Bro. god, dude! I was I was leaning into the gas like nothing, and I can see the traction control light blinking <laughs> at me because it's it's just not getting traction. The fact that it's a rear engine naturally aspirated V12. It's unbeatable. Like this thing is so freaking cool. I love it. I love, love, love this car. I was just gonna launch it for you guys. Go, 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 go. powder coating uh, the Urus is here we actually scheduled an appointment with them to get the calipers painted uh, color match verde solvents for the car and it's the calipers off at the track they realized that there were seals when you disassemble the calipers that were rotting the, the rubber inside the caliper basically overheated and it's crumbling when you yeah, touch it right can we see those yes you sure can the car is like a month old and we already need to replace these seals we might need to replace the rotors too but i know for sure the seals and sensors are already ordered that was 800 bucks so add that to the tally but yeah the seals are all melted down Oh my God. Did you drive, did you do this, Tommy? I did not. No, this one, <laughs> did I didn't touch, not my fault. Look at that big this in Natalia's head. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited for these to be color matched. Well, dive a little deeper on this. Yeah. It's 800 bucks to replace everything there. Just those seals. But well, what about the rotors? Dude, I don't even want to know. They gotta be five, five grand, grand a piece. piece. Five grand? I don't, let's see the rotors. I want to see if they're bad. The fronts yeah, are what I'm worried about. I'm a big rotor guy. The rotors are good. 
Yeah, they're good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like a rotor to me. How do you go with that joke? I don't know. <laughs> that was a crazy joke, dude. She's so funny, dude, and quirky. It's so cool. I am quirky. I'm a car girl, so. <laughs> that. Is, yeah, I'm not joking. Theory. I say it all the yeah. time. I just said five minutes ago, the La Ferrari is my favorite car ever. This thing is like yeah, well, top 10 for me. Mike, if you're watching, this thing's 312 Supercars on uh, Instagram. This is the, a the SLS Black Series. is one of my favorite cars ever made. Ever, ever, ever. They are so, look at that thing. Because this thing is sick. Yeah. Ours wasn't that great. This, this car and, the, and, and Steve's SLS are two different things. Mark, this thing's gonna be a million dollar car one day. Mark my words. It ha it's going to be. I would take this over 90% of the car's C-bones. This thing is just... Right, the 10% just all the hypers? Perfect. 10%'s P1, Bugatti, and like a lot Ferrari. GTR calipers, all prepped. They just come up, they've been chemical stripped, uh, rough media blast, they will get uh, pre-baked, masked off, and coated. GTR calipers. What we're color are we going? Them. What color are we doing? We're gonna match them to uh, the roll cage inside. The pretty blue sparkle. And Do the motor. And the something? motor. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Pika blue. I think so. <laughs> I think that's, that's what it's called, ain't That's it? the color I had on my Subaru wheels. Is it? Yeah. Funny. So it looks like the cost on this is going to be at least $800. Depending on wear and tear on the rotors, it could be much more expensive, $5,000 a rotor. I don't know how much the calipers go for, but they're not cheap. Um, so $800 add to the tab. That's just for the seals for the calipers. Uh, and I think from here, we're going to head on to the house. There's a bunch of cars at the house we'll go over and uh, drop this bad boy off. We'll see you there. And one last thing. Thank you, Speed Powder Coating. You guys always do an awesome job, whether it's wheels, calipers, Whole nine yards, uh, they're awesome. If you are in the market to get your wheels powder coated or calipers painted, check them out, they're homies. We're back home, we'll go over a couple of the cars in the garage, starting with the Senna. As you saw, the Senna broke down on the track. Uh, Nathan, unspeakable, was driving it and it had a clutch overheating error. It was a hot day. We let the car cool off in the track for about half an hour and it started up, went in gear and it was just fine. So we got the codes red, we cleared them. The car's been fine since. So that one's no big deal. Tires are good, brakes are good. It did what it's supposed to do, it's a Senna. So no surprise. Rolls Royce, it didn't really get much track time. Um, that car did fine from my understanding. I don't think anyone really drove that car hard. It was mainly for B-roll. C8, everyone's favorite. Uh, that car did pretty well, I think. I didn't hear anybody who drove it was complaining. I know the brakes were smoking at one point, but like what else was new? Everything was smoking that day. It was it was a hot track day and everyone was going super hard. The 765 LT Spider, uh, that car also did really well. I think that was one of the few cars along with the P1 that had no issues in the track whatsoever. Um, it was pretty bulletproof. We had both these cars, uh, post-track inspected yesterday, topped off some oil, um, got the tires and brakes checked and they're good to go. I don't know how much the oil was. It was a home visit, so probably, we'll say $1,000 for the two of them, 500 bucks a piece. And heading on over to the P1, this car actually did an amazing job on the track. I say actually like it's surprising, but it's a McLaren, so you never know with those. Um, I drove this car in race mode and it did absolutely amazing. After um, he told me, after he told me not to drive it in race mode on the track. Okay. Natalia has never tracked in her life before that day, and she was about to go out on Autobahn in race mode, no trash control, in the car that's named the Widowmaker. In my defense, I watched a Top Gear video before I took this out. You should have done it then. <laughs> and you that's watched what I'm saying. That's why I was so I'm excited sorry. to put I'm sorry. it. It's, it's okay. I'm sorry. That's my fault. I actually did track it in race mode, and it was amazing. Um, again, this thing is my favorite car in the collection. It always will be. Do you know what's funny? He doesn't drive it. Watch it <laughs> I do. I drove it on the track. Every time we have a cruise, he doesn't. You don't take it. Well, I don't know what to tell you. It did need new tires though. Tires were about $2,000 um, getting those installed. Brakes, uh, fluids, everything's good on this one. Uh, just need to replace the tires, so that's 2K. Not the worst thing in the world for a $1.7 million car. Chiron. This car overheated. Uh, last time we tracked it, the rotors were red hot. This time, same thing happened. So I'm assuming brakes and rotors are gonna have to go at some point soon. That's a $125,000 job from my understanding. Um, I don't know how closely that is. We haven't gotten a price out from Bugatti yet, but that's what I've heard. After it cooled off, it was performing just fine. So I think that car should be good for the time being. It's going in for the rear tail light next week. That's covered in warranty, thankfully. So thank you, Bugatti. Ford GT, this thing was another workhorse at the track day. It was tracked hard. It performed amazing. Cars rock solid, tires are good, fluids are good. Like I said, the P1 did need tires after the track day as well as the GT3 RS. We got those bad boys ordered. They are going on momentarily, but I think we're gonna do a drift video on the GT3 before we replace those. So stay tuned. 
Um, and then, of course, if you guys want wheels or tires for yourself, check out Fitment Industries SD Wheel or Custom Offsets. Um, any wheel, tire, suspension needs, they'll hook you up. They're good people. And we'll head on right outside of the Countach. It is a Countach, and I like. <laughs> that car did good. I didn't track that thing. I, can't, I literally cannot, physically cannot fit in that car with a helmet on. Um, I have no, I don't even know who drove it. I think Jeff was in it for a little bit. Somebody yeah. drove it and they were hauling. Somebody's, they were hauling. Yeah, somebody was driving it and they did great. So that car just got the clutch rebuilt uh, over at Evans Automotive in Columbus, Ohio. I think that car was solid for us. I don't think anything happened to it. For all the cars that broke, that wasn't one of them. It didn't get tracked that hard. Uh, yeah. Wire did really, really good on the track day as well. We've been having an issue with this car where it'll pop in a limp mode or it'll stall coming out of first gear. I think it's the smart gas upgrade. I think there's an issue with the transmission. I have no idea how much that service is gonna cost. I'm not gonna attribute that fully to the track day because it, I don't think it was from that. There was already issues before the track day, but it'll be squeaky clean. I'm sure it'll be expensive, but uh, well worth it when the car's back. This, <laughs> I hate it, but it was really cool to see it on the track. <laughs> <laughs> turning with one wheel off the ground it was amazing um was it it was it was you wouldn't have known because you were way behind it but uh, <laughs> oh! uh limo did great i was appalled it didn't snap in half i don't think it means anything well that's a limo a couple other cars that i wanted to note the ferrari 488 um already had issues with smoking before the track day but i think the track day made it worse uh it also needs brake fluid um, so that's being flushed and some other random things over at Ferrari Lake Forest. The Resvani was leaking coolant. I think that was a non-issue. I think there was a cap or something or a hose that blew. It was really easy to replace. Another thing I wanted to put in perspective is miles on the cars. Um, that day was a lot of miles. Between driving to the track, tracking, and driving home from the track, it was about 100 miles on everything. Depreciation on that from rough calculation I did is about twenty-five dollars to $30,000. We'll call it $27,500. Um, that's a lot, but not including tires and brakes. Uh, the brake calipers and rotors alone on the Chiron is six figures if we were to place those. So all the hard driving that these cars took on the track that, that all came out on the tires, brakes, and uh, brake fluid, probably 20 to 25,000. So we'll call that 22.5. And then you wanna actually count the track rental with lunch and everything. That was about 18,000 total. So considering all of that, that's another $68,000 just in driving these cars hard. That's pretty insane to think about. That's a huge number, but uh, Steve's a baller. It was worth it. It was a lot of fun. Tesla Plaid, brakes overheated. Um, I, I've heard that that's actually a pretty common issue when tracking those cars. Um, they don't have the best brakes for how heavy they are and the power they produce. So as soon as we got an overheating warning on that car, we took it off the track, didn't track it the rest of the day. Not worth anyone um, you know, risking their lives or it's just unsafe. So. That car is actually being sold along with the Porsche Safari. The Safari is going bye-bye, Plaid's going bye-bye. R8 is gone right now. That car went up to a car show in Wisconsin straight from the track day. That one got a flat tire. Steve's a wheel and tire guy. I can't imagine that was more than like 200 bucks. I think it might've even just been a valve a valve stem. So that was cheap. And you know, let's call it 30 bucks or whatever it is to place a valve stem. 19's a boo-boo. Um, that one could also be similar to the wire where like it was already having issues, but I think the track day made it exponentially worse. We'll go over there in a minute and check that out. So we'll see over at Porsche. Here we are. How's it going? So I think what we've learned is that Steve can't have nice things. I've known that for a long time. Last time you were on the vlog, Steve and I had switched lives for the day, correct? If you guys haven't seen the video, Link's right here. Steve and I switched lives and he was just roasting me the whole day. But anyways, all right, Steve. So we broke the high voltage battery. There's a good chance it's gonna need the battery replaced. And that's like an auto zone, like little, you can just get one of those, right? And you can trade in the old one for that one and get like a credit for it. But you can get these batteries at Walgreens. Um, it'd be the generic brand. Okay. They're cheaper. The new ones from Porsche are fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. Okay. Walgreens are like 20. And is that, do those work 20,000 or 20 dollars? 20,000. Oh, okay, good. Are those for like double point days? Can you double up, like can you get two for one? I don't know or if you can use coupons on that. Okay. That's a good question. I'll look into that. Is Steve a coupon? Big coupon guy. Yeah, it? big time. The 918 went to lit mode on the track. Um, we had some like check engine lights, weird things that were popping up before the track day that like made us suspect it might be the HV battery. It is in fact the HV battery. We got it checked out, scanned the codes, uh, got rid of the, the errors drove it again, same thing happened again. So it's actually a recurring issue. It sounds like minimum this car is gonna be about $63,000, $64,000. We'll see how much it actually comes out to, but that's a boo-boo. 19's -boo. gonna be out for a little bit. Unfortunately, that is Steve's favorite car, and that just sucks. Uh, we have to ship a battery from Germany here, get it installed, that has to be a specific tech. Apparently there are tools too that, we, that this dealer needs to rent to be able to install that battery, because not all the dealers have the tools for that. So it's gonna be this whole big thing. The car's gonna be out for a while. These are the best days to drive it in all of summer, so it's just bad timing. But this is the immediate one week after the immediate amount that we are aware of. So total of everything that, that 
I'm aware of so far is right here. But we will see you in the next one, Natalia. You're wearing merch today. On that note, buy some merch. And that's it. Boom. Get some, they're comfy. Bailey, rock it. We're looking good, we're looking good. Oh. You like that? Oh. You like that? You like this shit? <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, it's because of you that we do this shiz, and Steve spent six figures on a track day. So wish us luck, hopefully we do another one next year. <laughs> Peace out. Moving on to the RAV4. That didn't get tracked, it's a piece of Oh, I didn't hear you. I'll let you watch under the vlog.